karibuni nyote ili tuweze kuanza misa takatifu tunapomuomba baba baroko confes kumwalika askofu aweze kutuongoza katika ipada yetu ya leo
basi kile kinafuata awandu watatu watasimama mbele ya askofu wakati padri msimamizi wao anachongea kuochiwa na papa askofu karibuni padri most reverend father holy mother church ask you to ordain these men our brothers for service as deacons. After inquiry among the people of Christ and upon recommendation of those concerned with their training, I testify they have been found worthy. We rely on the help of the Lord God and our Savior Jesus Christ. What the to say may thanks be to God. Basi wadachukua viti vyao tunapochianda kusikiliza umilia ya ya baba askofu. Wapendwa wa Mungu Wapendwa wa Mungu my dear brothers and sisters gathered here this morning by the grace and mercy of God tumsifu Yesu Kristo Mungu ni mwema Mungu ni mwaminifu na kila wakati today the church rejoices on her knees in gratitude to God as three of her sons Daniel, Peter and Eugene belonging to this Carmelite order chosen for the order of deacons a moment of rejoicing and thanking God for his mercy. What a noble calling to a life of dutifulness, a life of service, a life of limitless generosity and love for all. We have just heard from the reading from the Acts of the Apostles how the early church 
which was growing steadily by the power of the Holy Spirit, needed men of good reputation, wise men, men of faith, filled with the Holy Spirit, to offer service to the people of God without discrimination. We all thanked God just a few seconds ago when we heard that after inquiry among the people of Christ and the formators of our brothers here that they have been found worthy. In other words, they have been found to have these qualities that would make them worthy servants of God and his church. We might ask ourselves, how did they know God's will for them? How did they hear the voice of God? Each one of them would have his own story. Indeed, it would be most enriching if at each ordination a candidate would be accorded a moment to share his story for people to hear. But we know this would take so long and uh, in the era of uh, coronavirus would not even be advisable because I can hardly see even their faces. Eh? This is what Corona can do. That notwithstanding, the truth is that God has a plan for each and every one of us. And he calls us by name. We are the sheep of his flock. We are his people. We are his children. He knows each and every one of us, in and out, and he calls us by name. Some, like Samuel, are called directly by God, and they can respond, Here I am, Lord. Here I am ready to do that which you are calling me to do. But even Samuel had to be assisted by Eli to recognize God's voice. It's called four times. And this also is the truth about each one of us. Most of us have been brought to the Lord and to the church by others. Other people have introduced us to the Catholic faith. Many people have encouraged us along the way of faith, day in and day out. It is in this light, dear brothers and sisters, that the church thanks parents our sana, our family members, relatives, and friends, superiors, formators, various Christian communities, the Camelite family, for providing the support, the inspiration, and encouragement to our three brothers here. The role you have played has enabled our brothers to respond today in our hearing without hesitation, like Samuel. But that should also serve as a call to us all, that since God calls each of us to a state of life, wherever we are, it falls upon us to be open and alert 
to those who guide and direct our attention and our responses so that we too can be a channel for God's grace in the world. Being a channel of God's grace for our brothers here means committing to a life that is full of compassionate love. Love that is not possessive. The gift of celibacy enables a person to cultivate love for everybody for the kingdom of God. Dear sons, this is your gift to God as it reflects the purity of Christ. And it is also God's gift to you as he fills you with his divine intimacy. This gift, without doubt, presupposes a life of robust prayer, personal and communal, without which it cannot be lived as the Lord commands. It presupposes from today onwards in a very special way commitment to the liturgy of the hours among other forms of prayer, contemplation and meditation not only for yourselves but for all and in the name of the church. I remember one morning I surprised uh, a deacon in the sacristy. He had just been ordained. I asked him what the, the second reading of that day's liturgy of the hours from the office of the readings was because it was after 10 like now and he surprised me he not only knew exactly where it had come from and the highlights but even told me what the first reading was of the day So here was a person who was not simply fulfilling, you know, an obligation without his heart in it. He knew what this was about. Whether he felt like doing it or not, he knew he was doing it in the name of the church for the salvation of the world and for his salvation. I must say, I was really, really impressed. Secondly, dear sons, when you take the vow of obedience, you express an external sign of an inner gift. This will require utmost faith and trust in faithful God. Obedience does not restrict your freedom. On the contrary, it sets you even more free to do the will of God through the church, through the superiors, and through your community. So cultivate that freedom to do God's will voluntarily. Obeying God, obeying superiors, obeying your community. The words of obedience of Christ himself should be a source of inspiration to you. He said that he came down from heaven not to do his own will, but rather the will of the one who sent him, his father. 
let that be your joy and your gift and your response. In your attentive listening and constant discernment of God's will, God's Spirit will guide you into making wise decisions and to inspire others to grow along those lines. What was said of Samuel should comfort you so that you become aware of God's unfailing presence. It says, the Lord was with him, not permitting any word of his to be without effect. Your words, your proclamation, your life, your witness must have an effect. In a short while, we shall present to you the book of the Gospels. And I'm not saying from which, I'm saying from whom you will draw inspiration and strength to preach to others what you have both learned and also leave yourselves. Remember them as they both invite and challenge you These are the words. Believe what you read. Teach what you believe. And practice what you teach. Treasure these words of invitation and challenge not only for today's celebration but to guide you throughout your life in the ministry. In today's Gospel, our Lord illustrates the ministry of his disciples as being salt of the earth and light of the world. The wisdom of God, Jesus Christ, is contained in the Gospel must be preached to change people, to change society, to change the world. Because God's power, God's kingdom is aimed at bringing transformation, as bringing renewal, as bringing recreation, so that people may be what God himself intends them to be. Salt, as we know, gives taste to food. And indeed, human life would have no meaning without wisdom of the gospel. Would we be in a position to explain joy and sorrow and hope to overcome difficulties that we face in this world if we did not draw the wisdom from the gospel? Without Jesus, the world would lack flavor. People would be living as though this is the only life. They would lose flavor for eternity that there is life beyond this one and live accordingly. Without him, the world would be as morally corrupt, corrupt as food without salt. This divinity, his wisdom, his life, gives flavor to human life. We Christians are salt because we can give meaning to what happens. Where there is sorrow and pain, like now, 
In this pandemic of corona, with all the anxieties, uncertainties, wisdom spreads consolation. We remember that we are God's flock. We are his people. He cannot forget us, even in moments like this. Where there is hatred and discord, it is that wisdom of God that can sow goodness. So dear sons, by your very life, add flavor to the church and society by your witness of life. Salt also preserves the food and prevents it from decay. Presence of Christians prevents humanity from becoming corrupt. We should not allow society to be led by evil principles and to be ruined. We must be salt that preserves and brings healing to the world that is only looking after its own interests. We see how people can be engaged in looking for money at all costs and power and pleasure. Assault, it is our duty as people who not only follow Christ but live his life to preserve the society from going downhill in ways that do not add any value to the meaning of human life and the human world. And dear sons, do not become tasteless by adding anything to the teaching of Christ just to sweeten it. If you sweeten salt, as somebody says, it becomes unpalatable. The hard teachings of Christ must be preached in their entirety. As light, you are placed on a mountain top. So you cannot be hidden. May the Lord give you and give us all the grace not to put a veil on the light of the gospel again by probably attempting to hide hard teachings of Christ which cause uneasiness and sound difficult like love of enemy like sharing goods with the needy, like turning the other cheek when the left is slapped, like avoiding violence, we just saw what happened a few days ago, and we are beginning to see siasa ya kupigana, siasa ya makofi. That cannot have room in a place and a society that claims to be nearly 80% Christian. And these are the hard truths that must be addressed, that must be preached without hiding the light of Christ. The same lamp that we received at baptism is to be made luminous as Christ's presence and make Christ's light shine through us. So again, I invite you, bring warmth and growth to humanity wherever you will be. It is in this light 
that Pope Francis in his encyclical letter Fratelli Tutti on fraternity and social friendship calls upon all of us to enter into dialogue with others. We can only serve God's people if we allow ourselves to draw closer to them, to know their challenges, their joys, their pains, their suffering, and be able to touch their wounds. In reference to the parable of the Good Samaritan, Pope Francis writes, Jesus asks us to be present to those in need of help, regardless of whether or not they belong to our social group. In this case, the Samaritan became a neighbor to the wounded Judean by approaching and making himself present, he crossed all cultural and historical barriers. And Jesus concludes the parable by saying, go and do likewise. In other words, he challenges us to put aside all differences and in the face of suffering to draw near to others with no questions asked. I should no longer say that I have neighbors to help, but that I myself be a neighbor to others. And that makes all the difference. So finally, dear sons, this is the invitation of our time to you, to me, and to all of us to be a neighbor to others in readiness to serve them in their needs for the glory of God. Basi tuwaomba wale wanaleta mkeka waweze kuchongea kuandaa mkeka kabla papa askofu kutualika kuombea wa ndugu zetu kwa litania takatifu na sisi wote tutapiga magoti litania ikianza sio sasa hivi as baada ya baba askofu kutualika ndipo tutapata kupiga magoti wote tukiwaombea wa ndugu zetu
basi mkeka unapotolewa watachongea mbele ya baba askofu waweze kupiga magoti na baba askofu atawekea mikono baada ya hapo inafuata sara ya kuweka wakfu
in the first days of your church, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. The apostles of your son appointed seven men of repute to assist them in the daily ministry, so that they themselves might be more free for prayer and preaching. By prayer and the labor of hands, the apostles entrusted to those chosen men the ministry of serving and temple. Lord, look with favor on these servants of yours, whom we now dedicate to the office of deacon, to minister to our holy altar. Lord, send forth upon them the Holy Spirit, that they may be strengthened by the gift of your self-fold grace to carry out faithfully the work of the ministry. May they excel in every virtue, in love that is sincere, in concern of the sick and the poor, in an assuming authority, in self-discipline, and in holiness of life. May their conduct exemplify your commandments and lead your people to imitate their purity of life. May they remain strong and steadfast in Christ, giving to the world the witness of a pure conscience. May they in this life imitate your Son, who came not to be served, but to serve, and one day reign with him in heaven. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Sasa awa ni mashemasi, watasimama paada yewa sara, waweze kufarisho mafasi yao lasmi na baada ya hapo wataipokea kitabu cha injiri wale ambao wameombwa kuwafarisha twaomba mchungie kwa ya wimbo ambacho watakacho tumia katika kuinjirisha.
teach what you believe and practice what you teach. Receive the gospel of Christ. Baada ya hapo baba skofu atachungia kuwapa pusu la amani au ndugu zetu ambao wamepata daraja hii wanapomchungia karibu na baba skofu atawapa pusu la amani viti zikiondolewa na mashemasi ambao wako hapa mashemasi tu tunawaomba mkuche kuwapongeza our ndugu zenu wapya the deacons who are around we welcome you to congratulate your brothers in the ministry as they will take their space wanakwaya wimbo kwa pamoja wa Kristu tunapowashangilia moja mbili tatu tena moja mbili tatu Mungu ametubariki kwa watatu wanapopata daraja ya, ya ushemasi katika shamba la Bwana tunawatumishi sasa wawili wanaenda kukaa karibu na baba askofu wape makofi tena wataanza utumishi wao sasa hivi kwa misa hii hivyo ndivyo yote yanafanyika tunaendelea kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa wale ambao wamewasaidia inayofuata sasa tuwaombwa kwa utaratibu unaofaa tuweze kuendelea na misa vile inavyokuwa tukiombwa tunapotoa sadaka kuna sanitizers sipo ili wote tuna sanitize mikono tukirudi mahali tumeketi wimbo wa sadaka ridachiko team muweze kuonyesha
as an exhortation, we have made it.
your lives and eternal offering to you, so that you may obtain an inheritance in your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Joseph our spouse, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely on daily. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of the entire world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your people in charge on us. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, and our Bishop John, Kubala, our world, with all the older of bishops, those your servants who have been ordained today, Brother Daniel, Brother Eugene, and Brother Peter, as ministers of the church, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own, listen graciously to the prayers of your people. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you and they are passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow the entire world, all that which is good.
basi tunapochongea kupokea mwili na damu ya Kristo tawaomba mtachiko team na sanitizer zenye mlikuwa nayo mnakaribia mahali watu wanakucha deacons they are coming to ensure that everyone sanitizes as we receive the whole communion and we still keep social distance as we come to receive all the priests you will come to receive from the altar wana pale tukitoa shukrani kwa nafasi ambayo Mungu ametucharia mashema watatu na tukiomba baraka zake aswa tunapoendea kuinjirisha na kusikiliza neno lake tunamuomba basi baba askofu aweze kutuongoza katika sara baada ya komunio na baadaye tutaelezwa ni kipi kitakachofuata Asanteni baba askofu kwa kutuongoza katika hii misa takatifu baka mahali tumefikia tunaendelea kushukuru kila mmoja wetu kwa kuyafuata masharti ambayo yamewekwa na nataka kuchukua muda yani kwa sasa hivi wale wote mko hapa tutachisikia nyumbani mambo mengi yatafanyika hapa ndani 
tunamuomba tu mmoja wa mashamazi wapya achongee atoe shukrani baadaye tumuombe baba askofu kama amepakisha neno la kutuambia na atatupariki mengine yote yatafuata pale nje Tuarudia tena kila mmoja asikie nyumbani twawatambua na tunashukuru kwa kuchapenda tumuomba shemasi anayewakilisha wengine Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati asanteni asanteni Niko hapa ili kutoa shukrani zetu kwa ajili ya furaha tulionayo. Kwanza niwapongeze ndugu zangu Dikon Eugene and Dikon Peter. I'm used to call them brother. And they are used the same way. We are going to train ourselves as you train us too. So asanteni sana. Shukrani zetu za kwanza zinamwendea Mungu. It's by the grace of God that we have met where we are. If it was for my, our own efforts, sincerely speaking, I don't know. But by the grace of God, we are here celebrating and we thank God very much. Again, we want to thank in a special way your Lord Bishop, John Obala. We invited him and he never said that he is busy. Thank you for taking that chance to come and be with us, to come and give us this gift. It's a gift, it's a grace. Thank you and feel appreciated and we feel loved by you. Asante San. Uh, I would also like to thank and appreciate the order of Camelites, where we live, our community. Starting from our general delegate, Father Onesmus, together with your council, for your wise decisions, even of making this decision about our life, about our serving in the Church of God, Asanteni Sana, and to our brothers and the other priests around of Carmelite, we say thank you for always supporting us and being behind us to correct us and to give us more energy to continue with this that God is calling us to be. Uh, we would just say this, that Carmelite, we found a home, but now, as we celebrate our darkness today, we want to say now Carmel becomes our departing, um, our departure, a point of departure for us, whereby we will move from our home, which is Carmel, and we'll be sent wherever. We have said we will obey, and truly we are going to obey. Please, we are at the service of the church as St. Uh, I would like to thank also, I don't know if he's in, Father Karao, our retreat master. He really insisted that the ordination is a gift, the ordination is a grace, it's not privilege, and it's not out of merit that this is happening to us but God's grace, God's gift, and we really thank him. I also would like to mention and say that all, all the priests who have come today, we really appreciate. We know you had your tight schedules, you had other things to do, but you have choose yourself and you say, you want to come just because of Daniel, just because of Eugene, just because of Peter, to be with us. Thanks, thanks a lot feel appreciated. All the deacons around, I know you came so that you can give us that energy, your morale, that what you are doing, we have done, and you can make it. Deacons, Asante Nisana, starting with Deacon Peter, Mahmoud, Asante, Asante. All the religious men and women around, Asante, Asante. As I said at one time, I repeat again, please, when you have your function, call us and we will come for you have come today. As Santeni Sana, all the religious men and women. The Carmelite community, it's a big community. 
Uh, I would also like to thank and appreciate the order of Carmelites, where we live, our community, starting from our general delegate, Father Onesmas, together with your council, for your wise decisions, even of making this decision about our life, about us serving in the church of God, as Santeni Sam, and to our brothers and the other priests around of Carmelite, we say thank you for always supporting us and being behind us to correct us and to give us more energy to continue with this that God is calling us to be. Uh, we would just say this, that Carmelite, we found a home, but now, as we celebrate our darkness today, we want to say now Carmel becomes our departing I'm our departure, a point of departure for us, whereby we will move from our home, which is Camel, and we'll be sent wherever. We have said we will obey, and truly we are going to obey. Please, we are at the service of the church, as St. Uh, I would like to thank also, I don't know if he's in, Father Karao, our retreat master. He really insisted that the ordination is a gift. The ordination is a grace. It's not privilege and it's not out of merit that this is happening to us. But God's grace, God's gift. And we really thank him. I also would like to mention and say that all, all the priests who have come today, we really appreciate. We know you had your tight schedules, you had other things to do. But you excuse yourself and you say, you want to come just because of Daniel, just because of Eugene, just because of Peter, to be with us. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Feel appreciated. All the deacons around, I know you came so that you can give us that energy, your morale, yeah, what you are doing, we have done, and you can make it. Deacons, Asanteni Sana, starting with Deacon Peter, Mahmoud, Asante, Asante. All the religious men and women around Asante, Asante. As I said at one time, I repeat again, please, when you have your function, call us and we will come for you have come today. Asante Nisana, all the religious men and women. The Carmelite community, it's a big community. Kama mevalia vizuri, tinawashukuru sana. Asante kwa kazi yenu nchema. The youth of Goroi and the PMC, Asante. You are always there. Asante, 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 Asante. The Merisho Kigango, tunawashukuru zaidi na najua sheree ambayo inafuata, tunayelekeza kule. Mungu wazidi kwa bariki na kuatendea mema. All the small Christian communities represented here, Goroi, Please, we say to Nashukuru for all your support and for always journeying with us from even Jumuya levels. All those who are watching us online, many, not forgetting my own brother, Brother Januaris. Now it's Father Januaris all the way from Barcelona. And everybody, we say Asante Sala. Kwayo Mengi Amamachache. Ningependa kusema tena, asante sana kwa kuja, asante. Vile tutakavyo toka baada ya baraka kutoka kwa baba askofu, tutaanza na watoto waya kudansi ritutia, alafu wazazi watafuata, mashemasi, mapadri, wote tukifika pale inche, tutasimama kupiwa picha ya kwa moja. Wengine tutatokea milango ya pembeni ili tukipigwa hiyo picha kitakufuata baadaye baada ya chakula sawadi zitapeana kwa wa mashemasi wapya katika umbali unaofaa hata tukienda kwa holu ukipata chakula yako tafadhali tuna mahali unaweza keti hapa nje keti pale kula chakula ili baada ya chakula tuweze kuwatafuta ndugu zetu tuwape sawadi na washukuru nyote kwa kuwa mmeshiriki kikamilifu na Mungu aendelee kuwabariki ninapomkaribisha baba askofu 
atupe neno lake la mwisho na baraka Alikuwa kwa kuwa alipewa nafasi and I've just spoken about obedience na nibidi pia kumudeli yusi
of justice in a country of safety. Mungu abayuni ni minote, mungu liyo toka upande wa ungoma, upande wa matyako, sina maati kupote, and the Lord God walk with you and bring you safety in your destinations by you. Thank you. 